Vietnam, finally. Since we set out on this trip three months ago, I've been counting the seconds until we'd arrive. Vietnam is home to the number one item on my bucket list, a motorcycle trip from Ho Chi Minh City north to Ha Long Bay. My love of all things built to move on two wheels is a huge part of this. Anything from a cruiser to a dirt bike to even a scoot scoot is all right by me. Vietnam represents adventure, a bit of the unknown, and getting off the well-beaten path. What lies ahead? Breathtaking vistas, awesome food, and amazing people. There'll probably be some hard days, some really wet days, some flat tires, being completely lost, but knowing that an incredible experience is around the next curve. First things first, we need motorbikes. Here's the deal. Fiona just arrived. Woo, woo, woo! Hello. <laughs> and of course, you remember Jamie from the Philippines and Cambodia episodes. And they'll be with us for the first week of this trip. Now we're here on the ground level. And so today is the day before we leave and we're gonna figure out what, what we're doing. Typically, backpackers show up in Vietnam, buy cheap Honda Winds, do their trip, and then attempt to sell the bikes to other backpackers. The problem here is that these Winds aren't Hondas at all. They're Chinese knockoffs, super unreliable, and definitely not built for two six foot tall people with luggage. The Winds we sat on, you could just sit on them and feel how shitty they are. As soon as you sit down on it, dude, it just like, the suspension almost bottoms out on them. That left us running brand new Honda Blade motorbikes from Ticket and Ho Chi Minh. Plus, when we were done with the trip, we could just send them back to Ticket on a train. It's a brand new Honda semi-automatic scooter. Um, we'd have a lot less problems. The racks seem like there'll be plenty of room for our bags. You stoked? Yeah. <laughs> we're ready to find the heart. Now that we have the tools. Are you stoked? <laughs> <tool. laughs> Honda boys. Then you guys can go to get still spend time together. So this is from here one day, let's say two days, three days. From Kaysan to Phong Nha is really nice, but it's 10 hours, 15 minutes drive, and you have Woo. to do it one day. Woo! So you need to make the plan for this one. You need to bring buy a can to buy gas. <gasps> so you see me with a yellow can behind my bike. That one, carry gas in that one. It's about five liters, so you can buy one can for two bikes. He loves it. Look how happy he is. This is awesome. Okay, so oh. here, son, you get up about 5 a.m. If one of you get up about 8, leave her there. Don't go <laughs> with you, okay? 6 a.m., you have to be ready on the road. To give perspective to what this journey entails, just at bare minimum, we're riding from Ho Chi Minh City to Hanoi, where we'll send the bikes back on the train. That's over 2,400 kilometers, or roughly 1,500 miles. It's the same distance as driving from Key West to Chicago, except we can't use the car-only Vietnamese highways. We're on tiny motorbikes, and oh yeah, we don't speak Vietnamese. It's the same distance as driving from Brighton on the southernmost tip of the UK to Inverness at the northernmost point in Scotland, then turning around and going back to Brighton, then driving up to Manchester. So yeah, it's gonna take some time. None of our plans matter if we can't survive the world-famous traffic of Saigon. Good morning. Do you know what today is? It'll be fun. I got a three-quarter retro orange helmet. <laughs> the sticker on my helmet says, makes you look fashionable. It promises fresh and hot impressions. I have the largest pants in all of Asia. Yeah, these are an XL, so they're still too short, like awkwardly short. You're, you're gonna be looking out for all the disasters, and then I'm gonna be on the back holding on so that you're confident that I'm there with you, but I'm gonna have the directions, here and we're expecting um shy of a seven hour drive which google maps lists as a three hour drive
There's obviously engine damage because our brand new Honda Blade that was purring like a kitten now sounds like it's blunder full of rocks. You might remember there's a 10 hour leg of this drive where there isn't even gas. Not like we can call for a tow if we break down out there. After a phone call with Ticket, they suggested that if we were worried about the bike, we could return to Ho Chi Minh and swap it out for another. However, we had the next week booked with hotels and hostels and we'd never catch back up with Fiona and Jamie if we went back. So after suggesting that um, we drive back to Ho Chi Minh City, which would mean leaving our entire trip with them because we couldn't get to Mui Ni, and then we couldn't get to the lot. Uh, we're just going to keep driving the bike broken. So the Honda dealership filled us up with fresh oil. We hopped back on the bike, now affectionately nicknamed the Crop Duster because of the amount of smoke it blew out. Oh, this certainly is much longer than <laughs> <laughs> So, does everybody agree that we're happy we're not doing this every day? Oh my god, my ass would fall off. <sighs> we're so close yet, so far. Um, we stopped and had some fall, which is awesome, and some fresh sugar cane juice. <laughs> These women were so nice, the food was awesome, and um, we have maybe about 40 kilometers left, so we're excited. Oh my god. You've been in Asia for 25 hours <laughs> and she's limping. <laughs> limping, let's see a little bit of the line. My beauty. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. it might be dirt. In one word, how was today? Refreshing. <laughs> Jamie, one word, how was today? Anal. <laughs> how was today? Dirty. <laughs> Chafee. Chafee. 